Heather. Yes, Hi. you must be great. Lovely to indeed. meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. I have come all the way to Sydney to discover mm -hmm. a little bit more about my great great grandfather, Harry Macklin Shaw, who yes. I have discovered became a bit of a clog dancer. And I'm just thinking, where on earth would he learn it? Where would he practice it? And all of those sort of things. Clog dancing developed in the north of England. The story is that they mimicked the rhythms that the machines were making. Well, that makes sense. Cotton mill workers wore wooden soled clogs because of the damp mill floors. The rhythms they tapped started as a way to keep warm, but developed into a popular new style of dance. When he came to Australia, he still would have been in the community where people were dancing and he would have picked up more steps. You know, you see a step you like and go, oh, we'll have that one. Yeah, that's true. And, <laughs> you know, you sort of build on it. And there's also accounts of um, people like shearers and miners, mm. they would take a little board with them. So when they had a break at lunchtime or whatever, they would practice their steps. They're not set routines. Well, you improvise, don't you? Like That's they did, right. I suppose, on the streets of New York yes. for tap dancing. You put a board down, you get That's your taps out. That's exactly and do, 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 do. the same tradition. Yeah. I have heard references, of course, to Harry, you know, that he became New South Wales champion. I actually have something here which is, is hugely significant, not just in your family, but in Australian dance history as well. Darling, <laughs> need my glasses. What's this? Born 5th of July, 1840. Oh, Ashen Underline. Yes. Harry M. Shaw, champion of Australia. Is it Australasia? Yes. Australasia? Mm. Wow. So he Clogged must have been dancing. fabulous. This is the 5th of October, 1871. Wow. <laughs> that is extraordinary. That is something, isn't it? It is. That is amazing. It is. It's fabulous, isn't it? <laughs> it's incredible. I had absolutely no clue whatsoever. That is a little gem of histoire right there in my hands. That makes it all real, actually. It does. It really yes. does. Oh, I want to learn clog dancing. Well, I can help you there. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we going clogging, darling? Yes. How excellent. I can't guarantee I'm going to be any good at it, but we'll have a go. Well, how exciting. I'm over this way. Now, what I have here for you. Are a lovely oh. brand new pair of clogs. Oh, they're a bit special. <laughs> aren't they? There's not a lot of movement in those. No, really solid. I'll sling them on. Oh, they are solid as. Not only are we going to dance, but we're going to dance to live music. Wow. So here they come. Oh no, here they come. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you were competing, you'd probably stand with your back to your musicians. So, it's the break, it goes step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. Step, one. shuffle. Yep, that's it. Break. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then into the break. Okay. <laughs> Shall we give it a bash? Okay. Oh, okay. dear. <laughs> This is like throwing me one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> okay. Oh, that break. One. Oh, that's the break. Bum, bum. Okay, try it again. Okay. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll just copy you. All right. <laughs> and I'll fudge it to the end. I'm sure you're very good at that. Yeah, good at fudging. <laughs>
good. Well done. Nail, darling. Yeah. Plenty of nails in there. Ah. <laughs> these hurt. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's fabulous. I'll practice that. I'll take these away. Yes, they're yours. Oh! <laughs> just brilliant to see Harry Shaw, you know, take that crown for Australasia clog dancing. I mean, who would have ever dreamt it? And I'm so proud that he made something of himself. Harry and Charles Tinworth, two men, very, very driven, two very powerful men in a way, that went against all adversity and really came out on top. I started feeling strongly that I was very much like them. I wanted to follow my heart, my passion, my dreams of dance. And it's just amazing to know that that actually runs in the family and in the blood, as it really has uh, put a new twist on who I think I am.